What's going on parents? This is tip number five. Make feedback a two-way street. Why don't you come in and take a seat? There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Like just hearing those words can make some of us feel uncomfortable or like we're in trouble, and, you know, before we even get in the room. So giving and receiving criticism is hard for all of us for different reasons. Some of us hate the idea of confronting people about their poor performance or behavior and would rather fix the problem ourselves than bring it to their attention. Some of us work so hard to get things right and being told we might have been wrong, it feels personal and, and like devastating. But good critique isn't about making someone feel bad. It's actually a great tool to activate growth when we learn to accept it from others and share it in a meaningful way. So how do we do that so that we can be better at it? Number one, say what you need to say. Acknowledging when someone says something hurtful or does something that's hindering their success can feel intimidating, but it's actually a very loving decision. It requires you to love that person more than you want to be liked. So let's love others by being honest. Number two, beware of emotions. Saying what you need to say sounds good, but that doesn't mean it won't be hurtful to the speaker and to the listener. When a conversation leads to an emotional response, remember, they're having a hard time, not giving you a hard time. So stay calm and share that calm. Number three, be criticizable. Yes, even from teens. It's as easy as a, the adult in the room, like for you to feel above criticism. After all, like you're the adult, you're in charge, but the easiest leader to follow is one who's approachable and constantly learning. So don't belittle criticism of yourself, own it and appreciate it. Number four, respond, don't react. Even if someone's criticism feels unwarranted or inaccurate, you're not likely to convince someone of that at the moment. So instead, consider why they might feel the way they do. And number five, follow through. When you receive criticism and you acknowledge your room for growth, be intentional about taking steps in that direction. When you give criticism to someone you care about, acknowledge when they take steps to improve, apologize, or grow. So don't make this about like wrong and right. Make it about everyone growing and getting better. That's your tip of the month, parents. Thank you and be blessed.